Yeah, we, first of all, uh, good morning, members of the media. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, I think uh, Simba Day has given us uh, an indication of where we are at. Uh, we have now completed the fourth week of our pre-season, and uh, we face uh, young Africans that are the champions. Um, and that will give us the, the true test as to where we are in terms of Tanzanian football and, and how our season is going to go. Um, this match won't decide uh, how we do in the league, but it will put us at the stage in knowing exactly where we are in this pre-season, in this project, in this uh, building of a new team. Uh, we know that young Africans are uh, already, you could say, three years or the new coach already one year. Uh, into their project and uh, we are four weeks into ours so we've got to zoom out and look at the bigger picture as to where we are and what we are building and uh, the match Simba Day like I said gave a good indication of uh, the new players and how they're gelling with, with the old players uh, it's not always easy to integrate 14 new players into a team uh, a lot of talent uh, and molding them into one unit uh, these are the steps we are taking and uh, we take this game like we approach any other game, uh, a match that we want to win. Uh, although taking into consideration where we are at in, in terms of our pre-season, we still play to win. We are Simba Sports Club. And the pressure? No, we, like I said, uh, four weeks into this uh, uh, project uh, and only... Uh, we, we take this game uh, like any other normal game. It's a, it's a match we want to win. Although whoever we are playing, we, we play to win, and uh, no different uh, uh, how we'll approach this match. Yeah, I, I do have experience of big derbies, uh, of course, uh, like you've mentioned. This is definitely one of the biggest derby in Africa, uh, and we'll take it at that. We have to approach this game with that in mind. We know we are still hurt as Simba fans for last season, the 5-1 and the 2-1, if you talk about the league. Uh, those losses, uh, but like I said, we're a new team, we're uh, 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 a new, into a new project uh, and we'll approach this match uh, uh, with, with our chest out. Uh, the Simba match has given us a huge indication at the potential level of the team. I'm not saying we are already going to reach that potential in this match, but uh, it has given us indication, in, especially in the second half, if you take uh, the second half, uh, the start of second half, we had uh, Shaba, uh, we had Balua, and we had Shea Malone of last season, uh, and eight new players in, in the team. And it's not. Uh, and what we saw in the second half was a team that didn't look like they were formed after three and a half weeks. They looked like a, a team on the pitch uh, in the second half. So that has given us an indication as to the potential level of this team. And uh, step by step, match by match, we will improve. And uh, the potential of this team is so, so big. And uh, just for us to grow in each match and approach this match uh, like we approach any other match, also uh, at the back of our mind knowing this, the, the, mag uh, the magnitude of this match. Uh, but if we approach it like a match, any other match that we want to win, I'm sure we'll do well. Very good, very good question. Um, young Africans are a well-coached team. They not only have good players, they also uh, are, have a tactically astute coach and uh, we've seen it in their pre-season matches where they have different approaches, uh, whether they, uh, in their defensive strategy, uh, adapt to the opponent. And I'm sure uh, in relation to them watching us for the first time, uh, they will adapt their strategy uh, in terms of how they set up defensively. Uh, overloading the center or allow, allowing us on the sides. Uh, I'm sure they will adapt. Uh, like I said, we are still building our project and uh, we, of course, will take care of their strengths. We will definitely try to exploit their weaknesses, what we've identified, and we'll base our game plan in relation to the skills of our players. Uh, we, have to, we have talented players, uh, like you said, our midfield, we have so many options. We have uh, uh, players with mobility, we have players with positional sense, we have players with box-to-box uh, -box, uh, mentality, we have players with a lot of technical skills, uh, but we have to create that balance within this match to be able to not only worry about the opponent's uh, attacking threats, 
but also impose our match, our game plan and our strategy in terms of attack. Uh, we cannot just be defense-minded against this team because then you'll be sitting in a low block for the whole game. You cannot just go out high-pressing for, for 90 minutes because that's not possible. We're only in week four of our preseason. But we'll, we'll, we'll create a, a strategy that we can impose our match but also be wary of their threats. Uh, um, we have to put our players uh, with their talents in positions that they can uh, display their skills. Uh, and that's the most important thing. If we have a balanced approach in terms of our game plan, I'm sure we'll be able to score goals. And that's uh, a, a derby match which I'm sure will be full of goals. Uh, I'm sure it will be end-to-end -end stuff. It will be punch by punch. They will throw punches and, and we will throw punches. And uh, I'm sure the fans can expect an exciting match uh, uh, coming up. Yeah, I've, I've watched the, the previous two derbies. And... Uh, yeah, if you talk about the 5-1, it's, it's been quite close in the first half. Uh, even uh, the second game, the 2-1, although Younger was leading 2-0, I think Simba uh, had the better of the match, uh, especially in the first half. Um, so there's not much uh, difference between the two teams in terms of uh, player quality, like I said. Uh, there's uh, more cohesion in the younger team because they've been together for a longer time. Like I said, 40 new players, you can't expect our players to immediately to understand this non-verbal communication between each other uh, uh, in relation to one player might like a ball to, to be received in between the lines, one player like the ball to, to be received in space and that can only be developed, this non-verbal communication with time. Uh, so. Like I said, they've been together for longer and that's probably their advantage. Uh, but we have a fresh new team. They don't know what, what lineup we're going to play. They don't know what strategy we're going to play. Uh, they're not really sure how we're going to approach the match. So that gives us a slight advantage, the unknown factor. Uh, they've only seen us uh, in the match where there was different lineups, uh, changes happening left and right. Uh, um, I'm sure if their coach look at our lineup and try to predict the lineup, he will get it wrong 100%. Because uh, uh, I'm also a coach that uh, goes into detail in terms of the opponent, goes into detail as to in relation to statistics, and uh, in relation to my my players and which players I think will give us the best chance to win. So you cannot predict our lineup, you cannot predict our formation, you cannot predict how we're going to approach the match. So. Uh, it's going to be an open match. Uh, we will put our best foot forward and we'll approach the, the match head-on to try to win.